many different pavilions here at the Farnborough International Air Show 2022, and one of the biggest and most eye-catching is the Florida Pavilion. In fact, it's the biggest pavilion they've ever had here at the Farnborough International Air Show, not just in size, but also in numbers of exhibitors as well. And TJ, you're going to tell us a little bit more. Oh, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited and honored that you're here and joining us at the Florida Pavilion. You know, we have 106 Florida delegates with us today. We have 18 Florida companies exhibiting with us. And you know, we have some of our major partners from across the state, Florida Power and Light, Space Florida, the preeminent Aviation Aerospace University and Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. And so it's a tremendous show for us so far. We're super excited that you're here with us and we invite you to come and meet some of our exhibitors. We shall do just that. Thank you very much there, TJ. And let's start, shall we, with Avionica. They're celebrating their 30th anniversary, in fact, in January this year. And to tell us more, it's Claudia. Great to see you here. Tell us a bit about the company. Well, we started in our garage 30 years ago. Where we're employing over 100 um, engineers currently specializing in flight data and communications management. We have about 9,000 of our units um, out in the field, uh, ranging from commercial um, operators to business jet operators. And why exactly is it so important that you are here, not just at the air show, but here on the Florida Pavilion? You know, Florida, with their programs, allows companies like ours to attend the show where we wouldn't have that opportunity otherwise. It's great to see you, and congratulations on your anniversary. Let's carry on with the tour, shall we? Off we go. Next up, we have Detect, and here from Detect, I have Edward Zack. So it's great to see you guys here as well, uh, Edward. Now, tell us a bit about Detect. Well, yeah, um, so Detect, we started uh, a company in 2003, so we're almost 20 years, um, in Panama City, Florida, so in the uh, Panhandle of Florida. We started initially developing radar systems to detect birds for the problem of bird strikes to aircraft for the U.S. Air Force. And they're still one of our one of our key customers. Um, uh, now, now kind of Air Force bases even outside of the U.S. Um, we've uh, kind of carried that also to a, to a few commercial airports. Uh, then also within 10 years ago, we had the advent of small drones, which are you can imagine the same size as many seven large birds. So we're now uh, developing uh, tools and responses for drone detection as well. So it's really bird detection and drone detection, but also some larger targets such as aircraft, uh, ships as well. It's great to see you here. Thanks very much, Ted. Yeah. But let's continue the tour. Tour, off we go. And next we come to Aerostar Training Services and David Santos here. First of all, David, it's great to see you here. Tell us a bit about the company. Thank you and thanks for asking me. So Aerostar Training Services is a US-based Kissimmee Gateway, Florida-based training organization. We prepare pilots for placement all over the world with zero experience all the way through either Airbus A320 or Boeing 737 type rating. Wow. Training is critical. It's great to see you here. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, David. Off we go. And the next up, we come to Luz and Co. And Jerry, you're here. Let's jump on in. It's, uh, it's great to see you here. How important is it for a company like yours to have a presence, particularly here on the Florida Pavilion? It's unbelievably important. It's one ability. It's the, the ability to have meaningful conversations with all of our customers in one location in such a short period of time. If we were to do something like this across, it would take us probably a year to have these types of conversations that we can have in one short week. So the efficiency, the value of it all is incredible. And I think we have a, a great opportunity here for sustainability. The bringing everyone together in one spot, keeping everyone from traveling all over the globe to have these conversations is super important. And we're happy to, to contribute to that as well. I guess particularly as well after the backdrop of the last two years we've had, it's nice to see people in the flesh once again. It's unbelievable. <laughs> There's so much more that can happen together and we're doing that today. The ability to be back out on the road, uh, we love it. Well, we love having you here, thank you very much indeed. Let's carry on then, it's a short walk now to the next uh, stand. I mean, there's so many stands here, aren't there? And we've got Sylvia, hello, Sylvia Gutierrez from uh, Tick Aerospace. Tell us a bit about some of the services you offer. We do maintenance, we are a maintenance facility. We do la landing gears, airframe, we do overhaul repairs, and we are certified FAA, EASA, ISO, AS9100. We have a lot of certification for make our customers confident that we are, and we have 
enough capability and the quality process to help them. And it's also uh, not just the services you offer, but it's also so important that these small medium enterprises get the opportunity to be on, not just at the air show itself, but on the Florida Pavilion. So how important is it for you to have this presence here? Oh yes, we are very grateful to Enterprise Florida, that entity is a huge um, group of professionals that help us and guide us babysit us in the step by step in the whole process for being able to participate and they take care of us in an amazing way. We are very happy and it's amazing also. I'm so proud to have this amount of companies coming from Florida. Aviation market in Florida is very, very important and we have diversity, manufacturers, maintenance facilities as ours. Um, we have also brokers and a lot of service providers, it's impressive, yes. We love having you here, nice to meet you, there we go, let's continue. We talk about diversity, diversity in people and diversity in, in companies and technology and innovation is a huge area, isn't it really, when it comes to aviation and uh, Red Six are at the forefront of that. Uh, Kevin, you're here to tell us all about Red Six, so you know, give us an idea of the company. Yeah, so Red Six is a technology company that's focused on augmented reality and through the augmented reality uh, paradigm we're fundamentally changing the way we're going to do training. One of the huge breakthroughs for Red Six is we found that oh, we, we were able to find the technology path to be able to do augmented reality outdoors in dynamic environments and heretofore no one else had been able to do that and it was really a brightness issue when you go outside and you see the sun the avatars needed to be bright enough that you're able to train against them whether that was in the sky or on the ground or gamification for you know nascar industry or, or racing for instance no one else had been able to do that and red six right now is the only the only company on the planet that has the ability to do this outdoors in the dynamic environment. So through that, we're changing the military training paradigm and we're moving that into commercial use cases as well. It's amazing how technology leads the way. Kevin, thank you very much yeah. indeed. Let's continue to other areas of innovation then. So we see innovation with AR, but innovation comes in many different ways. A more physical form comes from Skybolt Aerospace Fasteners. And Ned Brown, uh, we're going to talk a bit about what you guys offer because it's in technological innovation over here. And this is technological innovation, but a physical technological innovation. Well, we use the word innovation a lot. And that, that is my uh, key focus on Skybolt is to uh, innovate in the um, aerospace fastener world and uh, when we come to an, uh, an event like this it gives us extreme uh, excitement of planning on what directions that we want to go and, and uh, what the customer is uh, commenting on and, and, and uh, exactly what they want and we listen to the customer and we're very hands-on company and uh, growing and it's a, an honor to be here. How is it being here? I mean, you say it's an honor, but how important is it for you as a company to have a presence, not just at the Farmer International Air Show, but on this actual Florida pavilion itself? Well, Florida is a very supportive entity of, of business and manufacturing. Uh, it's, it's the real deal, and we're very, very fortunate to be in that, 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 that fold. Uh, so the, the honor of being in a, an environment like this is um, it's so important to our future uh, and it makes us legitimate and, and a very, very uh, high level of, of, of aerospace manufacturing. It's a pleasure to see you. Thanks very much there, Ned. And now we move on, last but by no means least, to Paradigm Parachute and Defense. Michael Bobis is here. Tell us a bit about this incredible company that you're representing. So Paradigm Parachute is a leading parachute manufacturer and aero, aero delivery supply, supplier. Um, we're excited to be here, empowered by uh, Enterprise Florida to come as an exhibitor. Um, it's really good that uh, there's advancements in space and air mobility and parachutes play a very integral role in making sure that those are safe uh, as the technology advances and there's more accessibility to the masses. Great stuff, Michael. Thank you very much indeed. So there you have it, a kind of a, a whistle-stop tour, really, of the Florida Pavilion here at the Farnborough International Air Show 2022. A huge array, really, of companies covering all the different aspects of the aviation industry. It really is quite a spectacle. And TJ, we started with you. Let's finish with you. You must be very, very proud of this. Oh, incredibly proud. And I always say, you know, Florida is both the present and the future. So it gives me great pride to stand here at the Farnborough International Air Show with such great companies, you know, showcasing Florida to the world.